In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your computer data for free in case your computer were to crash and you can't boot the computer up or in case you had to reinstall Windows and you do not want to lose the files. And uh, to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new partition up on the computer and this is very simple to do. And with this partition, we're going to use it to uh, actually back up our files, like our documents, or music, or whatever it may be that we want to keep and keep safe in case the computer crashes. So right now, it's going to be a little bit difficult to back up programs that you have on the computer. You're just going to have to re-download them. But uh, for as far as your documents, your music, and all your important pictures and everything like that that you have on the computer, this video will show you how to back that up, okay? So the very first thing to do is to create a partition in Windows. It's very simple to do. And what you do is you go down to your start menu. Now, if you're running Windows 8, you're going to have to have the computer up here. And please ignore that message. You right click on it. And you go down to the computer icon. You go into manage. You can also get to that by clicking start, computer, right click and manage right there right click manage okay now when this computer management window pops up you're gonna go down to disk management and let that load your disk configuration information up and in here you're gonna find your local disk C and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new logical partition okay and to do that we're gonna right click we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to shrink volume all right once you shrink this volume, we're going to have to make it the appropriate size, right? So just let that load up for a moment. Alright, so in here you're going to determine how much space you want to back up, like how much space you want to make this partition, and it's in MB for a megabyte. So uh, I would recommend 20 gigabytes. So what you would do is you would write 20000. Now, if you have a lot of stuff on there, you can go higher, but I'm going to put right 2. This is roughly 20 gigabytes this is in megabytes so that was putting that two zero 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 which would be 20 gigabytes we're gonna make this partition okay so click shrink Now I'm sure most of you would just need 20 gigs of space to back up your data unless you have videos and I don't know but uh, for most people 20 gigabytes is plenty of backup space. Alright now once you've done that you're going to right click on unallocated space and right click and go new simple volume and just close up this wizard you click next and you're going to click next again and next and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go down to where it says volume label and you're going to call it backup one all right and then you're going to click next and then you're going to click finished okay so that's going to now create a new partition up on the computer a new logical partition it's going to go ahead and format that logical partition and it's going to come up down here and it's going to say you now have a backup drive g so we're going to go into computer now, if I've already got a backup drive B, and this is a backup drive 1B, okay, because I've already done this before. So now here's the partition that I made. You can see backup 1G. Now here's your local disk C, and then here's your backup uh, drive G. Okay, so you can go ahead and open up the backup 1 drive G. And then what you just do is you put all your music and your content that you want to save is you basically... Open up two windows like this, and what you do is you put your uh, pictures. So we're going to pretend in this one, this is the pictures that we want to have saved. So what we do is we right-click on the pictures folder, and we go into copy, and we paste it into here. And now it's gone on, and it saved all the pictures into your uh, backup uh, partition that we just created. All right, so for your music, you do the exact same thing. Right click. We're going to pretend that this is, we've got a lot of music in this folder. You'll copy it. Um, you would paste it into there. 
for your documents, you would do the same thing, right click documents, click copy, click, right click again, click paste into here, that will copy the content into there, and you would essentially go to your users folder by clicking on C drive, and you'll click users, and you can even go in and right click on the users folder, click copy and click paste, and that will put a lot of your documents and all the other videos you may have on the computer into there. Now this is going to take some time because now this is 16 gigs, but uh, you would do that and uh, for anything you have on the computer, like videos, the exact same thing, right click, copy. We're going to pretend that these are the videos that we're going to back up and you get the point. You just want to put whatever you want to save onto the backup drive G and that's what you do to back it up. So now if the computer were to recrash, you would be installing Windows on drive C, right? And on, a, on the backup partition, you still have all the files, so you wouldn't lose them. You can just go back into your backup partition and put them right back onto your desktop after you reinstalled Windows that way. So that's how you back up your data. All right. I hope that helped and made sense. And uh, basically, you want to store all your information on the partition you just made.